Dark circles are rarely attractive on a photo, and there's many causes. For some, like me, it's a bit genetic. It also comes out with age or lack of sleep. In any case, there are a few ways to fix it in Lightroom, as well as several advanced third-party tools that can make it easy. Let's take a look here at an image. What I want to do is select the area under the eyes. Using a brush tool here, I'm going to paint to target that. So we're just going to paint in. Now my suggestion is take this and let's just reset these adjustments here initially, but assign a color so you can see the changes that you're making. Now I'm going to go in and just adjust the size of that brush there so it's a little bit bigger. And we're just targeting the area under the eyes. There we go. Not bad. Let's do the other one here. And you're just brushing in the area you want to affect. Now you could turn that color back off and you're free to make the adjustments. What we're going to do here is play with the exposure slightly. Don't overdo it or it's very dramatic. But by playing with the highlights and the shadows there, we can refine that nicely. Additionally, if we click on this here, and it's selected, we can come down and feather that brush. What I want to do is get a much more gentle feather. So now as we adjust that exposure, we can get a gradual change. See as I brush that over with the feathered edges? So using the softer transition is pretty important here. So it blends as it gets to the side. Let's not go quite so aggressive there but just play with the contrast amount a little lower. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to actually pull the texture down slightly and roll that just to warm it up a little bit. Let's take that towards the reds and the oranges and you see the change. That looks good. Now what we could do is turn that tool off and just take a look at that split screen. You'll see what we were able to do was lift up the shadow under the eye nicely and warm it up a little bit. That was helpful. But that was a tremendous amount of manual work. If you find yourself facing dark circles a lot, there's some great tools on the market. Perfectly Clear from Athentech works well, Portraiture, and I'm going to continue to show you how we can do this with the tool I showed you earlier, which was Luminar. Let's choose another photo. In this case, I'm just going to send the raw file over directly. So from the file menu, I could choose plugin extras, transfer to Luminar AI. This will immediately hand the raw file off to Luminar for editing. Let's take that full screen. And with the edit module here, I'm just going to jump into the portrait tool. Let's put a little light on the face and we'll zoom into the eyes here. And I just want to take care of the dark circles with one slider there. I could target the dark circles and easily lift them up. We can also brighten the eyes and put a little bit of highlights in them and enhance the sharpness of the eyes. While we're at it, let's put just a touch of color into the lips and redden them. And we could take advantage of that skin technology you learned about earlier to easily remove some of the defects and blemishes and gently smooth the skin. There we go. When ready, I can click apply and the results will be handed back to my Lightroom library. Now, once your results are finished and returned, you are able to continue to tweak the image and edit inside of Lightroom. Feel free to play with the exposure of the return file. You could adjust things to get the right balance. We can easily shift the white balance here and just dial in the type of image that I'm satisfied with. But the quick fix there was able to easily remove the dark circles under the eyes. Whether you do this with a Lightroom brush or a third party plugin, it's always a good idea to pay attention to those dark circles and try to remove them for a more attractive finished portrait.